Media Centre here at the DP World Tour Championship. Excited to be joined by Victor Hovland. Victor, returning to Dubai, you were T third here last year, and you come here with a chance to finish first on the rankings. Just how much are you looking forward to this week? Yeah, no, it's uh, good to be back here. Um, last time I was here was uh, COVID year, so not a lot of grandstands. So it's cool to come back and see the place a little bit differently. Um, I think the course is great. It's in great shape, and uh, I feel like my game has been trending in the right direction. So uh, looking forward to the week. You've had a really good run of form recently. You say your game's trending. Is there anything in particular you've been working on recently? It's just kind of trying to, to simplify things a little bit. Uh, I feel like my short game in putting has been uh, very consistent through the last couple of months. I just haven't, frankly, hit the ball well enough to to be quite there in contention. Um, and, um, yeah, just basically trying to minimize the curve a little bit so I know – exactly where the the ball's going to curve uh i might not hit it exactly where i wanted to but at least i know uh the dispersion of the the shot pattern you know i don't i'm not trying to hit a cut and then suddenly there's a pull draw and then you kind of lose confidence to to where the ball's going to go so uh just trying to keep things simple and we're in a position now the Ryder cup points race has started up again how much is that playing on your mind and also how much are you looking forward to hopefully pulling on that team europe jersey again yeah, obviously, Ryder Cup is uh, a, a big goal, and you want to make the team every time. It's not something that I think too much about each week, because um, obviously it's it's a year from now. Uh, it's more about just tr controlling the things that I can control day in, day out. If I play uh, the golf that I, I know I'm capable of playing, it, I, I should be on that team. So that's it's more about thinking about the... Yeah, just my game every day and, and trying to get the best uh, out of every single day. So to questions, please. I'll start with Jamie. Hi, Victor. Obviously, you won up the road here in um, January and took down Mr. McElroy. Um, I wouldn't call it, you know, he didn't have anything like a slump after that. You finished second at Arnold Palmer, but then you had a little bit where you maybe wobbled a little. Is that fair enough? Uh, yeah, it was uh, like it's it, golf is a little frustrating sometimes where, um, you know, certain weeks hit the ball really, really well, but then haven't putted it very good or uh, lost some shots around the greens and then been working really, really hard on on the green and around the greens. And then that has gotten a little bit better, but then the ball striking hasn't been as good. So uh, it's just kind of the nature of the game. Um, I would have liked to have played a little bit better through the throughout the summer um but um yeah I, I feel like i'm kind of getting back to the same old ball striking days i've i'm hitting a little bit further but i'm, I'm kind of getting back to a little bit of the predictability of the shots um instead of trying to shape it too much or overthink about where not to miss it where to miss it it's more just instinctual more reactionary and i feel like that's uh yeah um, I, I'm in a way better spot right now than I was a, a few months ago, but it's just it's just the nature of the game. And, and the Sunday at St Andrews, did that, did that affect you at all? Not really. Um, it was just one of those days I didn't, you know, I think I shot two over par, but it was like I hit a lot of good shots, just I didn't quite get close enough to the pins, and especially with how St Andrews was set up, you had a birdie the easy holes. And then basically just par a lot of the holes where the pins were tucked because you just couldn't really get close. You had to make long putts to get to make a birdie. So I actually felt like I did a pretty good job with, you know, it. it I feel like if this would have been a couple of years ago, I, I would have maybe started firing at pins that I weren't supposed to be firing at. Um, I just didn't get any momentum going on early and um, didn't birdie the easy holes. It's just one of those days. Victor, uh, there's a strange coincidence that three of you, Matt, uh, Colin, and you, who started playing almost at the prof turned professional almost at the same time, you guys, all three of you were playing so well. And then came a period when all three of you were struggling a bit. Even Colin, I mean, like, who is so good with his irons and everything, he has been struggling a bit at almost the same time that you have and Matthew has. Have you guys ever discussed something between you uh, 
as to what's happening or do you talk to each other? I know Colin is a very good friend of yours. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not... We, <laughs> I think that's kind of the last thing you want to do when you're with your other competitors and friends. No one really wants to hear about their the other person's game you know you're you're just there to hang out and we kind of know how um everyone else is playing it's just again it's just the nature of the game sometimes you're playing really well and sometimes you're in uh, a little bit of a slump i think it's just the the nature of how things go because you want to try to get better all the time um you don't want to do the same things every single day you want to try to improve and then sometimes when you improve it's kind of a a new territory and sometimes it's hard to predict even though you you think you've gotten better it's not necessarily that you're gonna get uh everything out of that on the golf course in the tournament so uh i think it's uh it's a little bit of you take um one step forward one step back one step forward one step back but then you hope at the end of it you're still um a little further um uh, forward than you were before. So, um, yeah, it's just one of those things. Thanks, Charlie. Any more questions? No to Bernie. Victor, just curious, have your clubs turned up yet? Yeah, I got them last night, so uh, it was nice to play with them in the Pro-Am. And um, you are saying that yesterday, that it's not the first time it's happened this year. How, how disruptive is it for you when your clubs and other players when your clubs don't turn up in terms of preparations for a, a big event like this? Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. Um, I remember, I mean, the, the first part or first time it happened this year was in Hawaii, Kapalua, and I'd spent three and a half weeks in Norway, basically didn't touch a club. And then I'm supposed to fly halfway across the world and, and play golf against the best players in the world. And you haven't really seen the ball fly in, in a month. It's So I decided to get there a week early to, to get some practice in and then when you don't get your clubs for, for that whole week. I mean, it's just, if it, it feels like uh, you're showing up to an exam and you haven't studied for it. Um, so it's not, it's not the best feeling. But, um, you know, it's, uh, you kind of have to look at it as a challenge, I guess. Um, it's, uh, you know, similar to what happened in, in Mexico when I broke my driver and I didn't have my driver and I borrowed someone else's. It's, you know, it's not ideal, but you can kind of turn it into a challenge and, and see how well you can do. And, and um, yeah, sometimes it might work out better than you think. We'll go back to Jamie. This is an odd one, and I don't even know why I'm asking it, really, but I will anyway. Um, have you ever met Erlen Haaland? Uh, I have not met him. Right. What do you know about him? Do you know much about him? He's I... I I don't follow football very much. We've uh, we've exchanged some messages online, yeah. um, and obviously keep up a little bit in the media. He's uh, obviously what he's doing is uh, it's pretty incredible. Um, yeah. So it's uh, it's cool to watch from from that perspective. But again, mm. I don't follow football too closely. But I know he's uh, he's a big big deal. And he's a king girl for himself. Did you know that? And is that what the messages are about? No, I uh, I did not know about that. Um, He's, uh, I know he's a big watch guy, so we were uh, talking about watches a little bit back and forth. So, um, But no, I didn't know he, he played golf. Yeah. Thanks, Jamie. And on that note, Victor, thank you very much for your time. Yep. Enjoy the week. Thank you.